Hello guys, what's up? So in this video, we are going to see very important topic which is known as port mapping. Very very important guys. Okay. So, let us suppose guys, you are having this Ubuntu server. Okay. You are having an Ubuntu server and it is having an IP address of 162.168.1.17. Uh, okay. Let us suppose this is the IP address of the public IP address of this Ubuntu. Okay. And this is your container in which your doc dot uh, doc dot py file or your uh, Python file or your web application file is working. Okay. Running. Okay. Now what happened is this is a person. He wants to uh, access this uh, Docker software. How he can do? He ping to the local IP address, which is a private IP address, but this private IP is not working. Okay. So it is having its own IP address, private IP address. You can say 152.1.11. Okay. And there is another container that is having .1.12. Okay. Just same like 172.158, 152.1.12. Okay. But if he wants to access this file, uh, he 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 can only able to this IP because this is this IP is public. Okay, he cannot able to access the private IPs. So in that case, there is a need of port mapping. Okay, very important part, guys. Very important. So what Docker will do? So in the Docker container, while running a container, let us suppose this is exposing a port of eighty eight zero eight zero. Let us suppose Jenkins. Okay, is running in this Docker container. If you want to make it available to the public, what you can do, you can map this thing to port 8080 of this server. Okay, you can do the mapping part. Okay, if you do the mapping part, what happen is this person is redirected to this you uh, this IP address and with the port 8080, it can able to access this application which is Jenkins. Okay. Or any other application, your own private application, if it is having, you can map it to different port also. Let us suppose you want to make this application available in 8000. Okay. You can also make it available to the 8000 or if you want to make it available to 5000, you can also do that. Okay. It's not mandatory that if the default port of this container is 8080, then it needs to be available on the same port. You can also do the changing port changing because in the mapping you can do it. So how we can get to know and how. So we are running a docker command. You know that docker container. Okay. Run command we are using. Okay. Run command we are using. So uh, in that you just need to add one thing that is dash p option. So you can add 8080 colon 8080. This is Ubuntu or you can say that server or you can say that host port. Okay. Okay. And this is your Docker container port. This thing you need to understand first. Okay. This thing you need to understand first. This is your Ubuntu or uh, the public part. Okay. The public port you can say in which you want to uh, expose your application. This is your Docker container port. Okay. So you say that uh, if you want to make uh, this port or uh, this, if we can take this scenario in this scenario, what is the port mapping? 5000 colon 8000 and the uh, the application name or the image name you can say that image name okay in this way you can do it okay let's see and try basically how we can map Jenkins and HTTPD we'll see the both the scenarios and okay we'll try to run that so guys we are in this, uh, okay, uh, online, uh, you can say that IDE or uh, online environment, okay. 
now you can see guys here it's a killer coda you can also use that or if you're having own server uh, you can also use that so here you can see it is exposing some ports I'm just clicking on this okay what I did just click on this and traffic or ports okay so it is open you can also customize and access that port also and uh, this is uh, these two hosts are available okay why it is bad request because there is nothing mapped yet okay now let's quickly create a docker container and expose some application to this ports okay now we need to use docker container run okay dash itd dash p what application uh, so 80 colon 80 so for httpd this is the default port so we can give httpd just click on this you can see it is uh, first find it locally and then it is going to the public repository of httpd so basically what we did we basically map the 80 of the server to the 80 of the container okay now let's check the 80 port you can see it is working see this is the httpd it shows it's working okay now uh, let's see how the jenkins work okay we do one thing docker container run okay we can do the port mapping for uh, docker so by default port mapping is 8080 okay we can give the name as jenkins okay and we can give the image name as jenkins slash jenkins okay uh, you are saying that why you are giving slash Jenkins slash Jenkins guys uh, this is the public uh, uh, you can say that image name okay inside the public repository this is the uh, image name for Jenkins okay if you can search uh, publicly this is what you get if you type only Jenkins then that is not available okay so when you just click on this you can see the Jenkins is uh, uh downloading and uh, you can see the extraction part also okay so it takes some time uh in order to um, basically you can see that extracting uh and uh, deploying and uh, one more thing you will get the password also okay so make sure that uh, you should not use dash itd or something like that okay so it is pulling complete let's see the status okay okay so basically it is building that Jenkins you can see yeah you can see this key okay you just need to do control insert okay or command insert in if you are in Mac okay just copy this thing and just go to port 8080 okay see this guys see this in the online compiler <laughs> online ide you are basically exposing this jenkins okay you have created an application pulling the image of that application jenkins you can see just pasting that password do the continue part okay and you can see you can see select the plugins okay and install you see this guys you can actually do whatever you want to do okay just have uh, the uh, images of uh, the applications that you want to run you can see the it's a killer coda uh, <laughs> platform okay so you can see and you can even check the logs also so it is a great platform guys okay so you can try it out okay and uh, yeah just uh, Keep learning guys. Okay. Happy learning.